Hi hey guys, Trevor Dye here with Dye Properties and Coldwell Banker Realty in Buckhead. Uh, today we're actually going to go over another uh, close to $10 million property in the local area. Uh, this right here is another Mediterranean mansion, uh, just so you have an idea of another one of these. Uh, it is funny how that seems to be uh, working out here, but we'll, we'll look at some other styles pretty soon here. This is very close to the other one, right near Tuxedo Park and Argonne Forest as well. This one's a little bit further north, uh, sort of bordering Tuxedo Park uh, and also the Kingwood area, right near that North Fulton Golf Course. A beautiful location here, right off Blackland Road. Uh, just for the lot lines real quick, so we have an idea similar to that other $10 million uh, Mediterranean. The home is taking up most of the property. Uh, this one actually seems to have even less property than the other one. Uh, we are next to some other mansions on here as well, as you can see. Uh, nothing quite near that price of 10 uh, million though. Almost there, but not, not there yet. <laughs> so what we'll do is uh, take a look at this, this property. So we're looking at six baths, uh, sorry, six bed, 12 baths, 15,200 square feet. So considerably smaller than that last home we uh, looked at. Two plus or minus acres here. Let's go down to the actual info. 2008, four car, car garage. So we're looking at just under two acres at 1.91, uh, 625 square foot there. Um, various information, 13 days. I know that last one we were, I was just looking at. Uh, you're looking at over 100 something days so uh, probably looking at something similar in terms of expecting it to be on the market for a while for looking at a similar price point but we'll see what it looks like on the inside all right so this is a pretty good picture i like this one better than the last one in terms of a first picture you have an idea of what the home looks like uh, much more close up on the home definitely that uh, great style here in terms of it being the mediterranean those red roofs lots of columns uh, looks like we have a little bit less of a color color contrast here though uh, more whites or at least lighter tones We've got a beautiful pool back there it's not in the center uh, this time much more of parking spaces uh, more of a location here there's another picture so you have an idea from the other angle very very grand very beautiful looks like it's space for grasses on the back side here uh, then of course you got the pool area as well Entrance photo, you do have a little bit of grass in the entrance. Of course, you got an uh, entryway where you can drive around uh, in a semicircle there. There's a nighttime look, some beautiful lighting, giant dramatic uh, archway here as an entrance you'd have to drive into with, I'm sure, yes, there are the gates. Got to have those gates really make your place feel like a fortress. <laughs> and of course, nice design on the external uh, top side there as well. Very nice. Of course, the hedges. Pool picture. I like how they threw that in there just real quick. Uh, very nice pool. Uh, love the lighting at night here. Looks like it has a shallow end as well. Uh, plenty of room in the back area here to throw events as well. Nice photo. Very nice. All right, here we go. Uh, we got a photo of the inside right after you pass that entryway. Of course, lots of room for cars, uh, putting on events, things like that, if you're into that style. Okay, through the front doors here. This definitely doesn't feel as grand as that last one, right? Um, got a lot of style. Not nearly as much detail. Uh, looks like a lot of it's in the decoration of whoever was living here. Chandelier is quite pretty. Seems very unique with some colored glasses hanging from it. Uh, but if you look at the ceilings, uh, you look at the floors, it looks like there's a carpet in there. Not nearly as much detail as that last place, of course. And this is the entrance. Uh, okay, we're looking at a tea room over here. Uh, might also make this a bar room, something like that. Right outside the pool, looks like, or right outside the deck there, a couple big doors. That's always beautiful and nice. Uh, you do have a little bit of uh, design, some customization on the ceiling there. Very nice. Um, vaulted ceilings there and a chandelier. Okay, a little hall in between room. Interesting. I don't know why this is one of the first photos that we're showing here. Not sure if this really strikes my attention or makes me feel like I would want to buy this home anyway, <laughs> but that's an opinion. Moving on, uh, this looks like a living room. We've got several doors to the outside there. Of course, they've designed it where you can sort of shut everything off if you're watching TV or something. Once more, some nice ceilings there with the exposed wood, some light blue walls. Uh, looks like some sort of textured carpet. 
very much an older style, uh, less extravagant, less royalty feel, more of a homey feel, more cozy than the last one. Looks like around these windows, or sorry, these mirrors, we do have some fun designs, uh, some de detail at the top there. All right, some tile work outside here. They put some curved brick angling here. Not sure if I'm a fan of that. Uh, and then of course, looks like they've had some repairs because there's a lot of mismatched tiles. Uh, but that's just the patio place before the uh, actual pool. All right, this looks like a form of a library. Uh, fully wooden. Uh, you got a, of course, a fireplace in there as well. Uh, you do have some some uh, shelves in the back that are built in. Not bad, not bad. And then of course the chandelier there. Another angle. Hallway slash beginning of kitchen. Kitchen, all right. So this feels completely different than the other one. Super closed off. Uh, we're not looking at an open concept here. You still do have the bar tables here, which is fun always for breakfast or so. Lots and lots of storage, some glass areas there. It looks like a window. Not sure if that's to the outside or if it's in, I think it's to the outside. Uh, several windows here. Of course, a, a nice uh, farmer sink. And uh, of course, got a double one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even eight uh, stove tops there, which is always nice. Uh, ceilings look pretty cool too. I'm a big fan of that. The light gray wood, um, recessed lighting, and also a chandelier here, another angle. And there we go, seeing the other side. Double oven and tons of storage. I'm sure we have a sink somewhere hidden over here, or it's not a sink, sorry. A, uh, Actually, that was probably on the other side. No. Um, okay, so probably on the right side is where that fridge is, on the right over there. Yeah, I think that's probably the drink filler. And then, of course, you got a microwave down there in the island. Dining room, very sweet. Nice light green look there. Um, once more, ignore all this furniture and stuff, unless they're selling it with the furniture. Got some design tile up on the top side and the ceiling there. That's sort of interesting. Um, and then, of course, the chandelier. Uh, all right, this looks like sort of a wine slash drink area and uh, another preparing countertop over here, more storage for drinks, drink cups, etc. Pretty large room for all that. There we go. Um, wine storage. Looks like they have some beautiful um, artwork in there. Not sure if those are cabinets or what, but it's very nice. Countertops as well. Looks like they're granite. Uh, we have some interesting crown moldings up here. Uh, beautiful chandelier. Some sort of textured wallpaper, I think. Um, looks like a, another dining room there. The fireplace. Fireplace looks very nice. Looks like a, some sort of marble um, with, a, you know, some design etched into it. Very nice. This looks like a bedroom. Maybe it's the master. Uh, light blue. Got a chandelier in there. Pretty spacious, uh, nice view of some natural uh, backyard there. Some of the, the grass and the uh, bushes and the pool looks like it's on the right. Um, looks like this is a study. <laughs> uh, maybe a drink cabinet there, not quite sure. A little uh, reading chair there. Okay, bathroom here, we got a vanity, very large. All the granite there. Uh, we got a tile walk-in shower with a pivot door. Oh, this is the study. So maybe that was a separate vanity on the other one. I guess like the woman's preparation area, maybe. Uh, anyway, this is a study area. Looks like they got all the security cameras hooked up there. And of course, a nice big closet, it looks like. With uh, lots of storage. Stairs to the up, upward part. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, this is still in the living room. Okay, so the photos in this one are starting to confuse me. This is another thing that also doesn't make sense to me. When you're trying to list a home at this price point, you need to really be considering how you're placing the photos. Uh, you want to be drawing people into the home, right? Um, obviously, if you're looking to sell your home and uh, you're on this pri upper price range, you really need to be doing a perfect job in order for people to see the full value and what it is that they're buying. Um, if you'd like to know exactly how to do that, how to get your home, to have the most eyes on it, the most people walk through it and fall in love with it, please just give me a call, give me a text, uh, send me an email, and uh, we'll make sure that, uh, you know, 
I'll go over exactly how we can make sure people see the true value in it and not confuse people. We don't want people to be avoiding looking at your home just because the pictures don't make sense or aren't good, right? Moving on, uh, this is another kitchen. Interesting. Uh, I'm sure this is typically where the, uh, the hired staff would be working. Uh, we do have an oven in there, microwave, obviously fridge. It looks like a washer and dryer in this kitchen area as well. Another bedroom, windows to the outside. Looks like a lot of greenery, very nice, decent sized. All right, this is the backyard, some hedges, obviously the doors to the backyard, a little gate over there. I guess that's to the large grass area. All right, this is interesting. So I guess whoever was living here before, probably either they themselves or they had somebody who was elder living there. You got a nice, very large vanity here, but that right back there, that is a walk-in uh, tub. So it's very unique. You don't see those very often, very expensive to put in. Um, very good for people who have some sort of injuries accessibility issues or on the older side uh very safe there so that's a good thing to note there um another bathroom beautiful staircase there love the hardwood floors uh very dark hardwood very rich another bedroom lots of storage in this vanity in here and we got a shower bath combo another bedroom another vanity shower bath combo some balcony view. That's always nice to see what that looks like. Courtyard view there. Very nice. Downward look at the stairs. I guess all those bedrooms were upstairs. I think that's what they're trying to say there. Uh, this is their theater, movie theater. I uh, do have a projector here. It looks like it's pretty large. It's not, you know, a true sized theater, but uh, you got lots of storage space over there. And this is plenty for most people. Uh, it also looks like they don't have nearly as much natural light as an issue to block off, which is also cool. On the other side, they have a bar. I love that. This is a very cute room. Yeah, a nice little bar here. Uh, I'm not sure what those countertops are. Maybe quartz, or maybe it's just, I don't know, I can't quite tell from the photos. Uh, full, a lot of exposed wood in here. Definitely a certain style. Um, and here we go. There's another wine cellar slash other drinks fitness room gym uh these floor floors are sort of confusing me um i'm assuming that's the form of carpet i hope so uh anyway uh lots of equipment in there looks like enough room for getting any sort of good workout and then the grass right outside so you got that space you want to go for a run or something play some ball then you know run over to your pool another view of the courtyard night view of the courtyard moving past the courtyard into where the garage is another view as you can see the neighbors are close they can actually see into your courtyard another bedroom with the, the light green there and the shower combo courtyard courtyard uh well i think that was the back patio pool love these little steps <laughs> out to the pool from the from the pool to the grass area it looks like they got a deep end over here all uh, right another view there as you can see lots of room can have some events thrown back there for sure another front view of the grand entrance nighttime view of the grand entrance and another full house view so uh just real quick sort of judging this off of the other one that's in about 10 million um definitely see a big difference the other one seems to have much more expensive finishes, etc., um, and more space. But of course, this is still a beautiful Mediterranean home. If this is more your style, less stories, more sprawling, um, more of that uh, courtyard space. I mean, the other one still has plenty of it. But uh, yeah, another beautiful home out here. Uh, ultimately, my thoughts on it, uh, it's overpriced. The other home that we saw was twice as big, um, slightly larger in property size. Um, I liked the layout better personally, uh, and also just the interior was much more luxurious. Not as, uh, but yeah, when it comes down to it, uh, it's also another beautiful home if you're looking to, to have, you know, a relaxed sort of resort style area, uh, bring your friends and family. Hopefully this video was fun to watch. Hopefully you have an idea, get an idea of what I, lo I look for when I'm talking about what's out there. 
I uh, also mentioned a few times about the pictures. Um, if you are looking to buy a home in the Buckhead area or in the Atlanta general area, uh, I can help you out there. Uh, I'll help you make sure you buy something that is uh, great priced and also exactly what you're looking for, that dream home. So just give me a call or text. Uh, also, if you're looking to sell your property, uh, this is huge. You gotta make sure the photos are done properly. You gotta make sure the marketing is done properly. Everything has to be perfect. If you're looking at these higher price ranges, you need to make sure that you're drawing people into the home. More people who are inside it, the more they'll be able to, to feel what it's like to be in it, to live there, right? You're more likely to get attached if you actually show up. So this is very important. Uh, if you're looking to find uh, an agent who can actually pull that off for you, please give me a call or a text. Uh, I am with, as I said, Dot Properties and Coldwell Banker Realty in Buckhead. My number is 470-652-1627. Uh, so just give me a call or text if you're looking at help for that. Otherwise, uh, hopefully this video was fun to watch, see what's out there, see what you can get for about that 10 million price range out here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'll see you in the next video.